Eurofighter Typhoon. My daughters are playing outside with plastic hoops. The elder is trying to hula over and over. It falls off her hips, but she keeps trying and the younger is watching and giggling and they're happy in the bright afternoon. I'm indoors at the hob with the door open so I can see them because the elder might trip and the younger is still a baby and liable to eat dirt. When out of clear skies, a jet comes in low over the village. At the first muted roar, the elder runs in, squealing, then stops in the kitchen, her eyes adjusting to the dimness, looking foolish and unsure. I drop the spoon and bag of peas and leave her frightened and tittering, wiping my hands on my jeans, trying to walk and not run because I don't want to scare the baby who still sat on the patio alone, looking for her sister, bewildered, trying to figure why she's gone. All this in the odd dead pause of the lag. Then sound catches up with the plane, and now it's grey bellies right over our house with a metallic grinding scream, like the skies being chainsawed open, and the baby's face drops to a square of pure fear. She tips forward and flattens her body on the ground and presses her face into the concrete slab. I scoop her up and she presses in, shuddering, screaming her strange, halt, pain cry. And it's all right now, I tell her, again and again, but it's never all right now. Christ, have mercy. My daughter in my arms can't study me. Always some woman is running to catch up her children. We dig them out of the rubble in parts like plaster dolls. Mary, Mother of God, have mercy. Mercy on us all.